sub level five of the shower room. Let's see what we have down here. Surprised that all of the water is still remaining in this cave. Looks like we've got big trouble dead ahead of us. Withering bullhogs, wallywogs, a fiery bullhog over there. What should we deal with first? There are just so many places to go. Well, I suppose what we can do is start things off over here. Go on, Pigman. Tear down the gate. Come to think of it, we should find another way around. So therefore, we can get a better ambush on the enemy. Alright, hopefully I can get these guys together and we can finish them off at once. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. I wasted some Ultra Bitter Spray there. I accidentally pressed the one button. But it's okay. We, we got the enemies. Darn my thumbs. Darn my thumbs. That's all I can say about that. I didn't mean for that to happen, but it's okay nonetheless. I do have loads of Ultra Bitter Spray to spare anyway. Okay, is there any treasure to be found in here? There is. Let's go ahead and split the group here. Have the Blue Pikmin carry it out. Up we go. This should require at least four Pikmin to carry it, but I'll assign eight on there. Come on, Pikmin. There we go. Looking at the treasure up close, this appears to be a bottle cap lid. Camera, thank you. I swear, sometimes in every game I have trouble with the camera. I don't know what it is. It's like me and the camera just don't get along. Okay, that treasure's made it back. Well done, Blue Pikmin. 100 Pocos, name is Pondering Emblem. Yoohoo Chocolate. Mmm, yummy. Okay, where to next? I think we should go this way. Withering Bullhog over there. I hope he doesn't blow the Pikmin. Please do not blow the Pikmin. Please. Please don't blow them. Don't even think about coming over here either. Not so fast, guys. We've got company. Loads and loads of company for us to kill. Alright. Let's see if we can get these guys together. I suppose not. Well, this is good enough. Ultra spicy spray, I need that. No, don't, 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 don't. What kind of response was that to an enemy trying to blow fire at the Pikmin? I'm weird sometimes, guys. Anyway, I was going to... Wait, let me get this fire geyser over here. There we go. Okay, now, I was going to say this earlier, but remember when I said before that I was only going to use the double up on spray trick on Ultra Bitter Spray for the one episode, the last one being Day 12? Well, I sort of lied, and the reason why is because... After editing day 12, I noticed that I missed an iridescent glint beetle at sub-level 7 of the Frontier Cavern. So to make up for that, I'm going to double up here on some Ultra Spicy Spray. Almar! I never noticed that he started scooping it up right away. I swear, sometimes this game gets me in a panic. But it's fun regardless. Jelly Float! Didn't see that coming. Maybe we should go ahead and get it past the wall. I have an idea. I don't think it's got any of the Pikmin. Okay, let's get this beast. It's probably best to use purple Pikmin against it, so that way you can drag it down and stun it afterwards. Oh, it's done. Speak of the devil. There we go. Alright, let's start carrying some of these back. Starting with this. 
and also this over here. I have to say so far guys, things are going really well down here in the shower room. I was worried that something may go horribly wrong, but luck is on my side. And so is fortune and fate. Fate for me to complete the no death run. And this will be done, no matter what. 90 Pocos, name is Broken Food Master. This is actually a ladle, and funny story, whenever I found this piece of treasure, I thought of it to be a frying pan, but after researching it, it turns out that it's a ladle. Weird, don't you think? Of course, other people would consider it to be a frying pan given its shape. 130 Pocos, name is Endless Repository. This is a canister filled with beach cliff sardines. I'm wondering if there are still any sardines in there. Who knows, maybe Louie would like to try some. Okay, this floor is clear. And the path is clear as well, so we can make our way forward. Or I should say down into the next sub-level. Onwards. Let's do this. So yeah guys, so far things are going really well down here. But it could be worse. There could be something worse. Shower room, sub-level 6. This isn't the cave that I'm worried about within the perplexing pool. There is one other cave that... I have grown to become extremely paranoid about, and you guys will know it when we get to that cave. Okay, we got a group of enemies over here. Let's take them. Got them all at once. Now, Pikmin, finish them off. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a doodle bug somewhere down here, and also there is a an ivory candy pop bud down here, but given that I already have at least 100 white Pikmin, I'm not going to use that. Alright. I think what I should go ahead and do is have the Pikmin split here and get the purple Pikmin. And have Olimar gather the rest of the Pikmin together to keep them safe. Mr. Doodlebug, are you here? You are here. Get back here. Don't even think about escaping, and stop farting the gas. Wow, you are just full of gas tonight, aren't you? Wait, tonight? Of course, then again, we are exploring this cave in the evening, so it does make sense. <laughs> um, should I or should I not double up on the Ultra Bitter Spray? I have plenty of bit enough as it is, so... There's really not a necessity to double up on it. Ultra Spicy Spray, though, I may make an exception. Okay, let's regroup here. So where can we find the treasure? Clearly there is one over here. But what I'm worried about is this area. One of these has to have a trap. Hello Mr. Volatile Duivo. How are you doing? I love it when they do that. Kill one of their brethren. Let's get the Pikmin together. Kill this guy off. I have a feeling that we might be able to find some Dweebos here somewhere. You can't really trust dark places like these now, can you? Nope, there's nothing over here. Is there something in here? There is not. Wait a second, I see something. I see you there, Mr. Dweebo. You can't hide from me. If you were trying to play a game of hide-and-seek with me, you'd automatically lose. There's another one in here. Ah, oh, we got it. I think one of these isn't a no Dweebo. Is it this one? No, that's a Munge Dweebo. In that case... The other one must have been in the no Dweevo, and it's a good thing that we killed it. Otherwise, if we lost Pikmin to an electric zap, well, I don't know what I would do. I would lose myself entirely, and it would cost me my sanity. 
first church has made it back. That's really gross. 100 Poco's name is Behemoth Jaw. This is actually a set of dentures. And I can tell right away that it's been used by something. Really gross that we have to salvage that as a means of treasure. Hey, Munch Dweevil, what do you think you're doing? Give me back the treasure or I will kill you. Fine, have it your way. Death to you. Stupid critter. Okay, start carrying this treasure back. Well done, Pikmin. These guys never cease to amaze me. 30 Poco's name is Abstract Masterpiece. Apparently, it's a bottle lid for Snapple. And the last piece of treasure we can find over here amidst these enemies that we have to kill. Not gonna bother using the Ultra Bitter Spray because we could take them easily. I prefer using the Ultra Bitter Spray in cases in which I get swarmed by enemies. Wait, I hear something. Is there a Wally Walk over there? There probably is. First thing though, we kill this freak. Why can I not get the Pikmin on him? Let me go, let me go. Wait, I don't, I don't even think he grabbed me. I don't know, I'm so confused. I don't know what happened. There's the Wally Wog. Hmm, maybe I should punish it the most severe way possible. Split the group here. Actually, we really shouldn't waste too much time going about this. So, do you guys know what I'm going to do? I'm just simply going to do this. Go get him, Blue Pikmin. There we go. Now we get this treasure. Hey, look, it's a rubber ducky. Good for bath time. Especially for the kids. Alright, let's get the rest of the Pikmin here. Come to think of it, this treasure seems very similar to the one that we found in the Citadel of Spiders. Except this one actually has a body. The other thing that we found, the paradoxical enigma, only had a head. And that's rather disturbing. 90 Pocos? Name is Rubber Ugly. Ugly? Who terms it ugly? Almar or the ship? I don't know. Okay, now that the way is clear, we can proceed to the exit. Probably should have done this earlier, but at least we're on it now. Plus we got all the treasure down here, so we don't have to worry about anything else now, do we? Alright. Onwards. To the final sub-level within the cave. What awaits us down below? We shall soon find out shortly. Shower room, sub-level 7. What a big open arena. Let's see what we have down here. Final floor. Another enemy dead ahead of us. We're gonna have to make our way to it. Come to think of it, there should be some more eggs down here. So, if we find them, we might be able to get some more spray from the eggs. And as of right now, I'm just finding some nectar. I really don't need the nectar at this point. The Pikmin are fine. Though nectar probably would be useful for this battle. I'm also surprised that I'm not finding any midites. Okay, I suppose we should go ahead and move forward at this point. And while the Pikmin tear down the gate, we have a brand new enemy right there, or boss rather, known as a ranging boister. It's bigger than the toady boister, and it doesn't focus on the Pikmin entirely, rather it focuses on shiny objects that the captains hold. In short, it focuses on the captains and not the Pikmin. And there is an easy way to defeat it, and I will go ahead and show you guys, as soon as we can break our way through, of course. I just hope that the creature doesn't intend on swallowing any Pikmin. 
it is really easy to defeat this guy, but if you were to wander carelessly in front of its tentacles, then you will be able to lose Pikmin rather easily, so you want to be careful. Now what we're going to do is to split the group here, have Almar take the Pikmin, and have the president go forward. Okay, let's do this. Now, an easy way to defeat this boss is to switch between captains, for it'll only react to the current leader of the group. If you keep swapping between captains and find the right time for the beast, for you to attack the beast, you will be fine in taking him out. I believe this is the right moment. It's a method of switching between captains and finding the right moment. Okay, I think this should be the right time. Okay. So far, so good. Over here. Over here. Over here, big boy. Come on, you want a piece of me? Okay, let's get this freak. And there you have it, guys. An easy way to defeat the Ranging Boyster. That was easy. Too easy. Whoa, for some reason, it's still glowing. That's weird. Processing? How odd. The gooey creature dissolved, leaving this curious item behind. It appears to be coated in slime. Are you sure you want to collect this? Absolutely sure? Oh, you'll toss just about anything in my hole. It would be nice if you cleaned occasionally. Yeah, no comment on that. Now back to this gill still glowing. That's really weird. Is this like a glitch or something? Come to think of it, I did research this glitch online somewhere, and I never thought that I would be able to catch that during the recording, but apparently it happened. That's really weird. And also, the ship is giving off a weird glow. This is really weird. I never thought that I would be able to come across that glitch, but on this recording, it happened. What do you guys think? Strange or not? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, 100 Poco's name is Amplify Amplifier. This is a loudspeaker of a stereo, by the way. This shape is well suited for the emission and amplification of sound waves. A moment, please. I shall use this as the final part in my new sound equipment. The Mega Tweeter is done. Captain Alomar, this device has increased the acoustic range of your whistle. Sweet. This I will go ahead and demonstrate. As you can see, the range of the whistle extends much further. Larger sound waves equal bigger possibilities to call your Pikmin within a group in a short amount of time than what you would normally. Of course, I am playing the Wii version of this game instead of the Nintendo GameCube version, so... I can't really say for sure if it's much of a necessity, especially since I could just move the Wii Remote around and move the cursor in order to call Pikmin over to my side from a distance. Like in plenty of other instances, as you can see that I'm highlighting. That's really weird for the ship to give off that glow. I still find it disturbing. Nonetheless, our work within the shower room is complete. So now we make our way out of here. I'm really surprised that things went well down here. Let's see all the treasure we collected. We've racked up a total of 1,253 Pocos, losing not a single Pikmin, and the cave is 100% complete. Save the game? I'll go ahead and do that. Because I call this a successful cave spelunking expedition. Back out in the perplexing pool, and the sun is starting to set. I don't know if there's anything else that we can do around here. Yeah, you know what? I suppose what we can do is wait the day. Just wait around for the conclusion of the day. And zero, the day is over. 
We've done a lot of great things today. Got a lot of work done within the perplexing pool. But we're not done yet. We still have more areas to explore. Also, we still have plenty of other enemies to kill within the perplexing pool. And I will make time in order to clear the area of the enemies. So that way the Pikmin will be safe. And I'm going to take care of that as soon as possible. But for now, we rest easy for the night. What a very big productive day we had today. Let's have a look at the report. See all of the treasure that we racked up. And all of the enemy spoils as well. Enemy bugs being from the cave. You get the idea. 1,393 Pocos have been raised today. And also, Pikmin population is on the rise. Look at that number. 1,000 Pikmin. Can you guys believe that? And also, if we have a look at this chart, not a single Pikmin has been lost as of so far. Doing really good as of so far. I'm feeling confident about this project. Really confident. Mail from... That appears to be a relative of Louie. This is Louie's grandmother. Louie, we suddenly stopped hearing from you. Everything okay? If things get tough, you can always come home. I'll stock up on those picnic carrots you love. Huh, so apparently Louie likes picnic carrots. That's interesting. Wait a second. At the beginning of the game, wasn't Louie entrusted by the president to make space deliveries with picnic carrots? And he likes picnic carrots. So, does that mean... Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> anyway, day 13 of our exploration has concluded, so it's time to end things off for now. Tomorrow, we're going to head back into the perplexing pool and attempt to get some more treasure and kill some more enemies within the area, so that way the Pikmin will be safe. Until then, thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm Multigame Master one over and out, and I will see you guys again tomorrow on day 14. Have a good night!